All right, things are going too good. I felt a little vibration, looked in the rear view mirror, and uh, lost, a, lost a tire on the trailer, single axle. It's laying out there in the road back there. But uh, the tire didn't go down and trash the rim. Uh, it's still up, but I'm not gonna drive it. I got cord showing here. Uh, the spare is flat. But uh, I've got an air tank and a 12-volt uh, air pump that I normally have in the Baja. So, and I brought a floor jack. Hopefully this little shit will uh, lift all this. Maybe I should try that first. Long story short, by the grace of God, I was able to drive on the shoulder of the road to the first exit of St. George. And there's a Walmart on the frontage road a quarter of a mile. And it stayed up on that tire. Uh, this other tire on this spare, the rim does not fit. The hole isn't big enough in the center, and the uh, tire won't hold there. The guy filled it up when I got it, and I assumed he was telling me it was okay. Good to go. It's a G7814, so anybody that knows anything about tires, when you start using numbers like G78, that's back in the 70s. That's a, a bias ply tire, so... They don't have the correct size here at this little Walmart center. So I'm paying $105 for a tire that's too small. We're gonna try to put it on. And I noticed that this hub, that's that's like dry. So I'm gonna have to see if I can get some grease and do it myself. Go ahead and throw that baby on. Cat they had on. Don't worry about it. That's just for looks anyhow. This thing, you can leave that on there. Leave it, leave it. Leave the whole works. Just get me out of here. <laughs> I paid 105 bucks for that puppy and a new valve stem. And uh, hopefully, it's a 14 inch, so that's part of the problem. They, they didn't have a big selection in 14s. That's an old Ford size 5 hole. Now, oh, looks like I got a little more space now on that side. Okay, so the saga continues. I, uh, they didn't have the tires that, uh, the guy didn't want to put on just one tire. He, he, uh, at Walmart. So, uh, what I've done is I, uh, went on down the road. I'm at a big old tire store. These guys got their shit together. I told them the story and, uh, they looked at the tires. This is an old Ford wheel and the center's not big enough for this, uh, hub and, uh, the guys at Walmart were gonna try to force it on anyhow with the lug nuts. I said, stop, stop. I said, let me look at that. It's not big enough hole, center hole. And uh, so these guys are gonna give me a used wheel or sell me a used wheel, take the tire I put on at Walmart, that'll be my spare. So I'll have a good wheel and spare and I'm gonna put two new tires on. And these uh, hubs feel really dry to me. Uh, so I'm having them uh, repack it and put new seals in and uh, that should, uh, hopefully the bearings are good <laughs> inside and that'll get me home without any incidents and I'll have a, a decent spare. So yeah, I mean, and their tire here, the same exact size tire is uh, $69 and then uh, I hate to pay 75 bucks for uh, a, a greasing <laughs> and a uh, and a seal, but uh, you know when you're on the road away from home, traveling alone, and you only got a single axle trailer, uh, you could hit debris on the road and have something happen just as easy. I and that may have been what happened originally here. I don't know. Just going down the road, and all of a sudden I felt a vibration. Looked in the rearview mirror, saw this black thing fly up, hit the shoulder of the road, and got out and looked. And I made it into town on just the carcass. What a cheesy, easy cheesy adventure. Doggone. And uh, look at these old rotten things. If uh, they're, uh, uh, they're kind of protecting the wheels and, and keeping the, the, the rattle can paint job from getting scratched. So I'll get those removed when I get home. I got some old tires. You wouldn't believe how heavy these things are. My goodness. Uh, and, and this old tire didn't even wouldn't even take air and I gotta see if I can get my air tank filled up because 
I did bring uh, my air tank because I was heading over there to buy a buggy that ran and you never want to go to the dunes without some some air especially with these old raggy pat uh, paddle tires that we all run so I'll ask these guys if they'll uh, top this thing off because I uh, I ran it out on the side of the road trying to fill that spare and the guy filled it uh, when he uh, he filled it just before I left yesterday morning so it didn't even hold air overnight and it was dark when I hit the road this morning and I did not check the spare I checked everything out so this is gonna become my spare and they charged me <laughs> his bastards charged me 105 so they charged me $30 more yeah so uh, we'll be good to go and I'm leaving those cheesy chrome centers Ah, I hate that if you put these on just so you know uh, and you have problems and you can't get to the nut you can't get to the axle nut to uh, to take the hub off and what happened to me on another trailer that I owned was uh, a couple of lug nuts were the, they had these chrome ones like this and they uh, uh, the chrome ones and the chrome chipped off and then the wheels started to get loose and we were on the interstate highway and all of a sudden you know I when we got off the road I heard this clicking noise looks like these things what the hell is that <laughs> the end of it came completely off that looks like the end popped off yeah piece of junk maybe that's what they do is just press them on there <laughs> I just as soon have plain steel lug nuts galvanized coated ones but uh, yeah the adventures beginning just beginning you know it's shit like this happens on every trip something is it's either the car or the trailer I must be nuts getting back into this <laughs> of course we knew I was nuts right I don't even know I'm in such a good mood uh, I'm just glad I didn't get stranded there on the highway and have to drop the trailer and come to town and start shuttling stuff back and forth. It, whatever this costs me, it's worth every cent of it. You know, sometimes you just gotta let go and uh, and do it right and be safe and be smart. Especially when you're old and by yourself, you don't want to be out there in the in the storms. I just took the uh, shoulder straps off. They told me there's some uh, a lot of rain up by Salt Lake, and my friend uh, in Denver told me that he woke up and there's an inch of snow on the ground. So it looks like I'm heading into some shit weather. So uh, the seats are gonna get wet. You can't put trash bags and they won't stay. They'll just shred uh, any kind of side winds at all. Got the submarine belt here, won't hurt anything. Won't hurt anything to get to get it wet. So the, uh, the shoulder straps went in with these cool little snaps. So I don't know how this works. Oh, look at this. Oh wow, look at this, a bag full of something. I'll bet you I'm gonna discover, oh, I'll bet these are tools and parts. <laughs> yeah, I bet I got a whole bunch of goodies here. Oh wow, man, this is like exciting. You know, the guy was just done with it and uh, I was, I'm looking to see if these things unclip because I'll take those, those out too. What the hell have I got here? <laughs> now great minds think alike. He's got a, a towel in here, a can of fix a flat, emergency stuff, you know? That's what I'm always always preaching anyhow. And uh, I can't tell if this lower seat belt appears to be bolted in with a bolt, so I'm not gonna mess with that. I'll just let him get wet. But uh, I don't see anything on the other side. Isn't that cool? What a cool old man. Jeff, thank you. If you're watching this, thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, his time came, he got out, and you know what? You gotta pay forward on this stuff. Pay forward. So, when when my time comes, and I'm gonna get out, somebody's gonna have a hell of a lot of VW parts. <laughs> Or something I don't think my kids are grandkids I'm gonna try to infect my grandson he I got a seven-year-old and I when I get uh, when I get back to Denver I'm going to uh, 
stop by the house to show it to him. You know what? And he can crawl all over this thing. Can't hurt the paint. I'm going to take uh, a hole saw and I'm going to like drill cool looking holes, you know, in all these gussets just to give them a, just to give them a little more, a better look, you know. I, I like that look. That's me. See, this is how you personalize it. These are the things that you do to make it your own. Gives you a little tie down points. I think it adds a little flair to it. I don't know what that is. looks like an inspection floor down there. I can't imagine. I suppose in the if you were uh, racing days, they would probably lay a tire right there in front. Remember, you ever seen pictures of those uh, uh, Baja cars like this? They would uh, they would have a spare tire on the front and and or one on the top. Now that's a sure place to lose uh, lights. Um, and I don't need all these lights on here. Shit, I don't drive at night. I can't see. I scare myself in the day, much less going out at night. <laughs> and uh, I'm always think, looking and discovering, checking things out. They're just, you know, I got it at a fair price, guys. You know, it just was too good to uh, not turn down. So I need to cover up those. If I'm going to get into rain, though, I do need to cover cover these outerwares with bags because uh, you can get I've had it happen you get water in there and then it'll go down into the engine uh, it was a really bad rainstorm that that happened but if you're driving down the road 60 miles an hour that's the same as being in a hurricane you know what I mean so uh, yeah he's got everything covered with paint pretty good for the most part yeah I, I was uh, Last night I, I could see it from my bedroom, from my bed, uh, actually, and I think I did wake up once. And let's see what's in here. Oh, the. He told me there was. One. Oh, these are the wrist straps. He wouldn't have smashed his arm. The guy had a really crumpled up arm because uh, he had uh, he had rolled it. And it got his arm on the outside and, and it crushed his arm and they had to helicopter him out. I guess it was pretty bad. He's pretty dinged up from that, but uh, still works. And uh, so he told me he put the, the wrist, they have these safety things, you tie them to the seat belt so that your arms don't go flying out. Because in a rollover, there's so much centrifugal force. You see these guys spinning through the air. That's why they have nets on the side. And uh, I don't see anything on here for that netting, but... Uh, that's in the real race cars. They always have the nets, so you don't arms don't go flying out and then smash it. It's not so much your, you know, your your whole body could fly out if the seat belt broke, but you know, just safety shit. I don't plan on going much over a hundred. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just babbling, killing time while these guys are helping me out here. So, uh, let's see, where were we? Keep getting interrupted here. So anyhow, since these old uh, rotten tires are what they are, uh, they got some old uh, 2007 used tires with a, just a little tread on them. We're gonna put those on. Okay, so as long as I was here, we were waiting on bearings. They had some used tires. I had those old uh, 1970s jobs. Uh, the old tires taken off, they had these takeoffs, gave me a pretty good price, they're just used tires, he had a pair. They're the right height, as you can see, they're a little taller than the front ones, almost as big as the back ones, so I think the car will ride right. And I like having not full new tread, because this way it won't pick up the rocks and stones and dust as bad as uh, new tires would, and a uh, heck of a lot cheaper too. So, yeah, this is a 3950 on a 10 inch rim, it is kind of got that rim out there a little bit, but you know, it is a 10 inch rim, so yeah, it's gonna be fine. I'm happy with that. Big old ATs, 30 by nine and a half. So, getting all our little problems taken care of. Hopefully. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subbing. Easy deasy.